Hi, welcome to LearnX Academy. Today we're going to look at the IELTS essay writing section of the exam. So we'll look at the t overall test format and some of the tasks that you need to follow through on when you're writing this exam. We'll discuss some of the strategies and give some example uh, questions. Okay, so the first thing we have to think about is the f overall format of the test. There's two tasks and that takes a total of 60 minutes and the minimum requirement for the words as far as the essay writing uh, is really important that you fit the fit the requirement. All right. Um, the answers for the test need to be written legibly of course. The examiner is not going to spend too much time to uh, try to decipher your handwriting. Um, it's important that you write everything completely, complete sentences. We're looking at sentence construction and grammar. Everything has to be clear. All right, the first part of the test uh, requires you to look at a diagram or a chart with information and data. Um, and the question will prompt you on what are some of the things that you're supposed to respond on. So it's really important that you read the prompt completely um, because it may ask you to compare, or contrast, or describe, or explain how something works. All right, so you need to make sure that you're answering that prompt correctly. Um, the second task is going to ask you to come up with an opinion uh, about an issue. So there will ask you to think and plan. Plan, of course, means you need to brainstorm. So you need to think about uh, some reasons or examples to support your opinion. Um, if it asks you to compare and contrast, or you're using words which can convey uh, differences and similarities okay uh, so that you're giving some support to your opinion um, a few things to think about when you provide your response um, the style of your language is important uh, the academic version is a f uh, requires more formal language than the general version of the test which is asking you to write a letter to somebody that's more of an informal than a formal essay. Uh, the organization, the style, and the content are also really important when you're developing your writing. Um, there should be a clear logical flow in your reading. So we're looking at uh, transitional words and the content uh, are you responding appropriately to the question? Have you answered all the questions? All right. Um, your questions may uh, come from current events issues that may be, you know, available online. So if you want to uh, kind of anticipate, be familiar with what's happening in the news. Uh, get information online, do some reading before you take the test. Um, some, a few things to think about um, regarding task one. Uh, make sure you're answering the question completely. Uh, look at coherence. All right, so let all the thoughts that you've written, all the data and the information flows together. Um, vocabulary. Vocabulary is really important that you use a good range of vocabulary, especially in the longer essay, uh, where it's really important that you paraphrase, where you're putting things in a, in a different way, and of course your sentence constructions. Let's go ahead and look at an example of task one. All right, so you need to look at the chart, interpret it. What is it telling you? What do you see? All right, um, here the task is asking you to write a report for a university lecturer. 
uh, describing. So you're going to be looking at descriptive words. You're going to be looking at using a lot of adjectives here because that's prompting you to describe the information that's shown. All right, so we almost want to think about describing it as if the lecturer doesn't see the chart. Okay. So look at let's look at a few questions uh, to help us uh, brainstorm a little bit about what can we write about here. Uh, we'll go through and try to answer these questions. Um, here's a sample full answer uh, that we could have for task one. If you notice, everything is written in a paragraph form, um, and topic sentence should be there to basically sum up the information. Okay, here's a sample answer for uh, the first question. So we're just basically looking at the data and trying to uh, tell what information we can get from the chart. And the answer to the next question, we're looking at cars. And a sample answer for the following question. All right, and a sample answer for the following question. So we're kind of showing a comparison here by giving the data to uh, show the comparison, um, but usually signifies differences and the conclusion all right if you notice they're using the word corresponding that's a really good use word to use to show relationship okay now for task two we're looking at the argument the quality of your argument um, have you thought it out the reasons and examples, is there a logic in your argument, um, looking at your idea, what are the, what's the information you use to support, uh, and also your voice, your tone, and how do you speak to your reader through your words. And finally, of course, your vocabulary, your sentence structure your punctuation, your grammar. I mean, these may be small things, but these are definitely things they take a note of when they're scoring your essay. Let's look at an example of task two. You're saying some businesses now say that no one can smoke cigarettes in any, any of their offices. Some governments have banned smoking in all public places. This is a good idea, but it takes away some of our freedom. Do you or agree or disagree? Okay. Um, there, you need to look at the prompt and figure out what are we supposed to respond to. Okay. So they're asking us, do you agree or disagree? That's something we should clearly state in our topic sentence as to whether or not we agree or disagree. And we should make sure that we're giving information to support that. Uh, it doesn't make sense for me to say uh, I agree, but then to give uh, evidence that may seem as if I disagree, it will kind of confuse the reader. So there, it's really important that you're giving information to support your opinion. Um, organization is really important, and that's why it's, critical that you really think and plan before you start writing, even if it's just a matter of one, a one or two minute brainstorm session. 
the content that you provide in your writing is really important your answer has to be complete you need to give all the information that it's asking for and making sure that you understand the prompt uh, a lot of people make mistakes in writing about a topic that is not even related to the prompt okay your planning is really important it's really in critical that you create a really strong topic sentence so practicing that before you take the exam is uh, really beneficial that you write a strong topic sentence because that will help you develop the rest of your writing if your topic sentence is uh, off of the topic then it's really hard for you to write anything that's going to be related to that prompt all right and one thing that people really don't focus enough on is that conclusion part of the essay a lot of emphasis is given on the introduction and the body but the conclusion usually suffers a lot and that can kind of just make it feel as if you've not planned or developed uh, your writing well enough okay the introduction basically tells your reader what are you going to write about and it holds you accountable as a writer all right this is what I'm going to discuss this is a introduction to my points all right and this is opportunity for you to paraphrase the question and that's a requirement on the writing task is that you show your capabilities and how you can paraphrase um, it shows your command over the language if you're using synonyms appropriately okay here's a example introduction that you may give for this particular prompt you see you can tell that the writer is just kind of leading us into the topic slowly okay and then the body um, if you can see right away um, you would you can identify the transition words although however also as for freedom okay these words kind of put th flow in the writing um, they can show relationship also between one sentence to the next and the conclusion is an opportunity for you to summarize your points okay and it basically tells your person that you're done uh, here's a sample conclusion all right and basically they're telling us again I believe that limiting smoking in workplaces and in public is a good idea so they're basically restating again their opinion about the issue all right and they're also even giving a counter argument I can also understand they're giving the counter the other side of the argument um, and then basically giving evidence to kind of negate that a little bit okay so that uh, concludes uh, our discussion on the IELTS writing section if you would like more information and practice with preparing for the IELTS exam please visit us at www.learnxacademy.com feel free to write us at care at learnxacademy.com uh, and I also encourage you to go ahead and join us in Skype with the ID learnx.tech or learnx.academy. Thank you so much for your time.